NATO, from my experience, is a very bureaucratic and deliberative body, but we've only known a sort of a peacetime NATO. It was basically assumed um, in the West among NATO circles that it would be the Baltic states, that Russia would attack uh, the Baltic states and try and separate them essentially from the rest of NATO. That's more complicated now because Finland adds a gigantic border with NATO. I think Russia would actually very quickly find itself short of um, some of its most vital systems, its air defense, its aircraft. If there were a high intensity, full scale conflict between NATO and Russia, unless unless it immediately went nuclear in the sense that, you know, de-escalation had to happen or there would be a nuclear exchange, um, I think any conventional action would have to include Ukraine.